Hello, beautiful people. How are we doing? Okay, we're back. Um, my hair looks freaking crazy. Um, so as you guys can see, I'm driving and thank you. Why is there this fat ass gap in the drive through line? Like where's, what's going on? I'm confused. Like literally there's like four cars. And there's this long ass. I'm gonna show you. Over here, all of these cars, all the way back here, and there's this huge gap of just space that no cars are occupying. Like, what's going on? I'm confused. You know, if my hair looks crazy in this video, I'm sorry. I'm trying out new um, methods because it's so short. But yeah, essentially, I'm here today to do a little mukbang. Um, mainly because in my life right now, um, it's a little hectic. I'm not really messing with life right now. Um, I'm a little disappointed and you know what's been going on in my day-to-day -day living, you know? Um, and essentially, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it, but I'm gonna do it while I'm eating Chick-fil-A because it is now 4.30 p.m. and I haven't eaten a single food. Is that grammatically correct, a single food? A single item of food whatever I'm trying to say that I haven't eaten anything all day and I need to so we are going to get chick-fil-a um and then while I eat the chick-fil-a in my car which I will explain why I'm going to eat the chick-fil-a in my car um we will talk about life liberty and the pursuit of happiness which I need to start doing because as of right now your girl is not not that I'm not happy. Okay, I'm not happy. I'm capping. There, there's no reason to cap right now. There's too much cap on this app. There's no reason to cap. I'm not happy. Um, and we're going to talk about why I'm not happy. You guys are going to be like my little therapy session. You guys are going to be like my little vent session. I like the Chick-fil-A coming up to your car. So I don't know if I'm going to keep you guys recording. Because I feel like you're like, why are you recording? Unless I do that. I'll get whatever the person in front of me ordered. I've actually always wanted to do that, but at the same time, it's like, what if somebody orders something OD and I don't want to pay for it? Because then that gets awkward, you know what I mean? Like, I've seen one where they basically, I think it was Bretman Rock, and their total ended up being like $90. And I will be damned if I end up spending from $90 in a Taco Bell. Like, no. Being in this area just reminds me, like, how much I don't want to live here. Zoe. We like today. Um, just the eight count nugget meal, please. What's the drink? A sweet tea. Anything else? And Chick Fil A sauce. Shout out to Chick Fil A with the service. Talking about some. Oh, I can pay for it right here. Thank you. Sis said, I need you to swipe them visas. Like we are trying to. Literally, if you guys were to know like what I have on my face right now, you guys would be shook. Thing like this is about to be my go-to no makeup makeup look because I feel like it looks really like. Even, is that the word? Even Stevens. It's also so hot. Um, I guess I can talk to you guys a little bit about like what's going on before I get my food. Um, well, the reason why today specifically, I'm not in the best mood. I can't tell if it's literally because I'm hangry because I haven't eaten since 4:30. Or no, I haven't eaten and it's 4:30. That is what I'm trying to say. So I don't know if I'm just hangry because I haven't eaten and. It's like literally the day is basically done. Or if I'm about to be on my period. Because I also think that that is coming soon. Um, but like my mood is a little like rocky right now. Everything's low-key blowing mine. Everything is like not, I'm not really with the vibes of today. Um, well, I was this morning. I was very productive this morning. I applied to some jobs. I fixed my resume. Um... I got a really, really bomb picture from a photo shoot um, that I was really excited about, so that was cool. Well, one of the reasons why I was tight yesterday is because I... Okay, wait, maybe I'll wait to do the rest of the video until I'm like out of public view, because I feel like it's so hard. <laughs> Workers 
this road. Ain't no. Have a nice day. Thank you for eating with Chick-fil-A. Like, no, they're just all like, okay. Okay, so we are here with the Chick-fil-A. Ah! I'm sorry, I really love Chick-fil-A. It's honestly like one of my favorite um, fast food meals because I just think they put crack in their food and that's literally that on that. Um, oh my God, there's all of these men right here and I was about to be chit-chatting and talking to y'all. Actually, I'm a move because this is awkward, but I like this lighting. But they're definitely about to look at me because my windows are not tinted. Okay. But I'm sitting next to literally like a hoarder van. Like, why is there so much stuff in that van? Like, where do you even sit? You know what? I'm just going to mind my business because it's literally none of my business. None of my business is none of my business. Um, anywho, as I was saying... dropped a fry and this looks so good oh my god see this is like literally example number 5,000 of why my day has been so trash um, try to eat with no air on and hopefully I don't die but if like it gets too hectic I'm gonna turn it back on yeah essentially why my life's been so questionable um like I said before I'm a little hangry slash might get my period soon so that's part of the reason why my mood is messed up but another reason is my camera broke hence why i'm recording off my phone if you can't tell um literally this part is fine but my lens like won't go back into the thing like it just it literally won't close at all so because it won't close it won't register on my camera and it's all bad um, I also had recently, not recently, but at another point in time, had bought a DSLR camera. I think I got a Canon Rebel T6. Um, and I don't know if I just didn't do my research properly or if I was just on drugs when I was buying it. But like literally, I bought a camera that doesn't have a flip out viewfinder. So that being said, whenever I try to record with it, Unless I hook it up to my computer as a viewfinder, I can't see what I'm doing. And a lot of the time I've tried to record with it in the past where I just am not seeing it. And literally I will record a whole video and it'll be completely out of focus or like something will be off or whatever the case may be. Um, and I used to be able to plug it up to my computer and be able to use that as a viewfinder, but now it won't register on my computer. And I've literally done every little single step that you could possibly take to try to make sure that you can see it on the viewfinder and everything that I do, it still will not connect. So I can't use that camera. So I'm literally about to sell it because there's no point in me having a camera and all this equipment for absolutely nothing. Um, and I tried to go to Best Buy to the Geek Squad to get that lens fixed or whatever um but just to even get it get a quote on it because they basically have to ship it to the place and then when they ship it to you or when they ship it to the place then they look at it tell you how much it's going to cost and you can either confirm or deny whether or not you want them to fix it but the shipping cost is damn near almost almost forty dollars and it's just like do i really want to go ship a camera lens for forty dollars for them to potentially tell me that it costs a hundred something for them to fix it when at the end of the day i could just get a new lens so that's what i'm kind of debating right now whether or not i want to get a new lens or not or if i want to ship it if you guys are like tech savvy let me know like down below what I should do because I literally don't know. Um, this should play bang. Second reason why I'm upset. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know. But I essentially just graduated. Woohoo! Yay! Degree. Like, I mean, obviously I'm excited. That was an accomplishment. Yay! I'm happy. Um. And part of the reason why I haven't been posting as much as of recently is because I've just been struggling a little bit mentally. I've been struggling trying to find a job, um, trying to figure out what I want to do with my life, um, et cetera, et cetera. And that in itself is like a lot. 
post-grad depression is a real thing. Um, if you know somebody who just recently graduated, check on your friends, make sure they're okay because that is a real thing. Um, it's just a difficult thing to grasp just because literally all I've known my whole life is like school, like from pre-K until my senior year of college, all I've really known is school. So like get, getting out of school and having to make that transition is just a little weird. Um, it's even more weird if you didn't like your major and you don't want a career in your major and you don't know what to do or like you know what you want to do but it's hard to get a job because you don't have the experience etc etc um and i've just been a little depressed recently can't hold you i mean i'm starting to come out of it i'm starting to get more motivated again but there definitely was a phase where like every little thing that i did was wrong i hated it i was extremely hard on myself it was just like not good um and one of those things that I'm trying to not let get the best of me, I'll say that. Um, and I'm not saying I'm not gonna say it's making me depressed, and I will say that I am very lucky and blessed to have the situations that I do have at the current moment. Um, but essentially, I have to move home. I used to live in an apartment, as you guys know. I lived there for two years. I lived on my own for two years. And the apartment is extremely expensive. And I don't have, like, a big girl paying job right now. So staying in the apartment another year was just out of the question. Because I just didn't have the finances for that. So, like, okay, yes, I'm extremely thankful that I can move home. Um, that I have a place to move to. Because there's a lot of people who aren't that blessed. There's a lot of people who can't go back home. Or... They don't have a home to go to or whatever the case may be. So I am very blessed in the situation that I am to be able to go home, live rent free, etc. But again, like I said before, it's a transition that I'm just not necessarily used to. In the sense that I have lived on my own for two years. So moving back under my dad's roof is like a big freaking switch up my good sis my dad's a little bit more on the strict side i'll say that um he is open he knows i'm older like he's not crazy hard but like he's still he's a virgo i'll say that so you guys can get a little feel if you're into zodiac signs he's a virgo and if you don't know virgos are very particular about what they want and it's either their way or no way and if they don't get their way or if it is not exactly what they want it to be, they throw little hissy fits here and there. Um, and my dad is literally the epitome of a Virgo. Um, and love him to death, obviously. I have nothing against my dad. Literally love him so much. But he's just very nitpicky. And he's very much so like a micromanager. And going from being on my own 24-7, being able to do what I want, when I want, how I want to do it coming then switching back to somebody who micromanages and like now I'm in his territory because again I haven't been there for two years so he he is adjusted to how things work at home I'm not adjusted to that so me coming into his space now and basically messing up what he got going on he's just it's just always something you know what I mean and I'm tired of having to and mind you, it's only one weekend, and I'm already kind of tired of just having to answer to somebody, having to let him know where I'm going, having to make sure that this is this way, and that's that way, and this can't be here, and that can't be there, and blah, 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 and like, you need to do this, and it's just a lot. It's a lot to adjust to, and it's very frustrating because I feel as though I've like leveled down a little bit. I feel like I felt very grown and independent for so long and now I feel like my independence is like slowly being snatched away from me a little bit like even I had a little wine bottle in my room and my dad was like you not about to have bottles in my house blah blah, blah. and I'm like sorry I'm not even having like it's not like I have a full-blown henny bottle out here getting up every day like no that's not what I'm doing but it's just frustrating because it's just like I'm 22 years old. I shouldn't have to ask you about wine being in the house. You know what I mean? Like, I shouldn't have to tell you I'm going out late at night. I shouldn't have to. It's just like frustrating. It's just a frustrating thing. And like, I don't really like 
just that transition. And I mean, if you guys didn't know, a goal of mine is to move to California. That's always been my goal. That's what I want to do. That's where I want to go. That's what I'm working towards. So at the current moment, I'm trying to get a job in California. And fingers freaking crossed that I get one soon and that I can move soon. Because that's literally where I want to go. And not just because, like, oh my God, it's Kylie. I'm a YouTuber. I want to go. Like, no. I genuinely, genuinely so much happier there than I am here. And, like, since the first time I went to California to, like, where I am now, I've gone to California a lot, actually. And every time I go, I fall in love with it way more than I did before. Like, I just love California. I love the energy. I love the environment. I love the people. My sister lives there, um, and my sister's literally, like, my best friend. And I, if I do move down there, we're going to get a two-bedroom together um, and all of that. And I just, I just want to reboot. Mind you, I've also lived in Maryland, D.C., PG, whatever. This area, the DMV, I've lived here literally my whole life. So since I was a baby to where I am now, I've lived in this area. I went to school in Maryland. I went to uh, college in D.C. Like, yes, D.C. is different than Maryland, but, like, I'm still here. You know what I mean? Like, it's still the same environment. And I feel like being here, I'm not as motivated. I'm not as creatively inspired. I am not, I just feel like I'm a little trapped here and I don't want to be trapped anymore. And I don't want to fold and end up living here my whole life and having a regular life, which I mean, if you live here and you have a nine to five job and you're chilling, like that's great. Like, don't think that I'm downplaying that for anybody. Like, you know what I mean? Like everybody who lives here currently, shout out to you. If you're doing the damn thing, like do it. But it's not what I want and I know what I want in my life and that's not it and I'm really trying to work towards getting where I want to go as fast as possible um, in that phase of me being depressed and like all of that there was a I was in my head a lot to the point where it was like anything I did was wrong and like all I could really do is think about this that and the third and I could never put action behind what I wanted to do and I also think mercury retrograde played a lot of parts in that um as well but I just was very uninspired very unmotivated and I wasn't doing anything and like now I'm starting to get to the point where it's like no if I want to change my experiences if I want to change my circumstances if I want to get to California and get my dream job and whatever the case may be I can't just sit here and be stagnant you know what I mean like that's not how life works um, there's no way I'm going to get where I want to be if I don't actually put the effort and the work in to actually do that. So, as of recently, I've also determined that I might not know exactly what I want to do, but I know that I have certain talents and certain passions, and I've come to the conclusion that I want to work on all of them. I don't want to just focus on one. I want to work at all of them and figure out really what suits me and where I can go with that. So, that being said, as of recently, I've been doing photo shoots, I've been trying to record videos if my camera wasn't freaking broken. So I've my next couple of videos are literally going to be done on my phone. I'm sorry. Like, until I get the money to buy a new lens or to fix my camera, that's just what it's going to be. But, oh, okay. Oh, my God. Why am I like this? Oh, okay. I literally spilled all of my nuggets out of the freaking box, but it didn't fall on the floor. So I'm still going to eat it. Because, um... But yeah, I've just determined that like I need to put action behind everything and I'm going to be starting a blog. I'm going to be trying to bop out videos. Um, I'm going to be applying to different jobs. I'm going to be working on my skill sets. I'm going to be trying to acquire new skill sets. Like I'm really trying to be the best version of myself because I feel like I haven't. And I've allowed myself to slip and I've allowed myself to make bad decisions. And I feel like I've had a reality check as of recent. I just think it's weird when, like, you get one of these regular fries from Chick-fil-A. Like, is it still the Chick-fil-A fry? But I'm really trying to level up. Like, for real. I think August is going to be a really good month for me. Yes, I'm upset today. Like, I'm irritated today. Whatever the case may be. But I think August is going to be a very good month for me. I'm speaking into existence. I'm putting effort into my dreams, my goals, whatever. Um, I'm applying to an internship today. I have to edit a video for it, but I'm applying to an internship today that I really, 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 really want. Like, I honestly, yes, is it a job? No, but it's an internship with a company or 
technically a company um, that I have loved forever. I think the content that they produce is amazing and I've wanted to work with them for a long time and I've always put off submitting an application for them for whatever reason but i really 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 want to work with them so please pray for me if you're watching this video please pray that i get this internship that i can move to california that i can start my life off and have a happy little scenario because as of right now i'm just not i'm not happy in my current circumstances am i grateful am i appreciative for my current circumstances hell yes i think i am blessed i think that a lot of things are being put in place for me and that everything is part of the journey that I have to crawl before I can run. So I'm understanding, I'm starting to understand a little bit more about just being accepting of my current circumstance, but I want change. And that change hopefully is coming very soon. So please pray for me. That's honestly all I really wanted to talk to you guys about. This video is kind of getting long and I know I'm gonna have to edit it. And I don't want you guys to have like a full 30 minute long video of me just like venting but if you did watch this video i 100 percent appreciate you so much thank you for allowing me to vent to you and really just kind of hip y'all to like what's been going on in my life and hopefully um i'm gonna be banging out a lot more videos and things of that nature i have a lot of good ideas that i want to you know do um so hopefully i will be sending those your way very soon but i love you guys so much i literally have to go because i'm dying and i'm about to start sweating it's so hot in this car like i can't um finish the rest of my day if i do anything else eventful throughout the day maybe i'll like record it a little bit i might go to my friend adam's house he just moved into his new apartment and it's really dope so i might bring you guys to that um but if i do anything else exciting i'll bring you guys along but if not this is the end of the video i love you guys so very much but yes, you guys, I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time you go out uploads a video. And yes, I'll see you guys very soon. Tell them what we're here for. Tell them what we're here to see. We're about to go to the rooftop. Of? Of his new apartment. His happy ass. <laughs> Talk about some of. Yes, if you guys don't know, this is Adam, his best, best friend. Um, we're about to go to his rooftop and see what's popping with it, because Posey is nice. Oh, wait, but I see the vibe. We got the seats with the pillows. We got the little fire pits. Little archways. This is bomb. <laughs> what you gotta say to the people? About your new crib. Honestly, this is a great feeling because I feel like I'm not trying to get deep on the camera, <laughs> chat. <laughs> but all jokes aside, like earlier this summer, I was just really struggling. I was in a rough place, and you know, I, it really humbled me. And so for me to 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 make it through that and to be blessed enough to have a beautiful home like this with a beautiful rooftop. It's just a blessing, honestly. Oh, it is. Nah, I'm real. so <laughs> grown. No, no. I am. Grown man. This shit's nice as